Hey everybody, um, I really miss y'all and I hope that y'all are doing really well with all of your lessons. I wanted to make sure that I gave you some ideas about some art you can create at home in case you have some extra time. So just stay tuned and I will give you a little drawing lesson. Doesn't matter what supplies you have at home, just use whatever you have. And even if you have to use paper that has lines on it, it's just a little activity for you to, um, just to be able to keep up with your drawing and to have something fun to do. All right, I hope y'all are ready to get started with this drawing. Um, I was thinking of being at a beach and enjoying the water. And so I thought that maybe drawing a nice little fish that I might see would be a fun activity for us to do together. So doesn't matter what supplies you have, like I said, um, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie marker to draw our fish today. That's just so that you can see me as I draw, but you are welcome to draw with anything, a crayon, a pencil, whatever you have at home. Um, so go ahead and follow along. Obviously, this is just a little guideline, so you can add any kind of details you want as we go along. So first, you wanna pick a spot to draw your eye. Obviously, you don't wanna start in the middle of the paper because then you won't have a whole lot of space for the body of your fish. So I'm gonna start over here in this corner, but I need to make some leave some room for the front of his face. So not in the center, but a little to the left, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle for his eye. Um, then I need to go ahead and draw his head and his back at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and start a little bit in front of his eye. I'm gonna make a curve up and come around and come down for his back. And then at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start a little bit below this line here. I'm gonna go ahead and make that same line, almost kind of like a smile, but I'm gonna go down, around, and come up towards this other line, but I'm not quite gonna to touch those two together because I need to leave some room to draw his back fin. So if you want to, you can go ahead and draw his mouth, which is kind of like a deep V. I'm just gonna come in at a point and then come in at a point if you want, you can add some jagged teeth. If you want to have a shark or a piranha fish, or if you wanna go ahead and add some little lips to your fish, you could do that too by just making a curve and coming in and then making a curve here. Now my little fish has some lips. Now I'm gonna draw a fin. If you want to, you can get kind of fancy uh, I'm gonna show you the fancy tail, but if you just want a basic tail, you can just come up and then make a triangle tail for the basic tail. But I'm gonna try to show you a fancier way. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make a curve and then a point and I'm gonna come back in here. And the same thing here, I'm gonna make a curve and come to a point and then come back in where these two fins meet. Then you can start adding some details to your fish. I wanna, maybe I want an inside fin. So I can make a curve like this. And then maybe I wanna add a, a little curvy fin. Um, maybe you can add a fin at the top, a little swirly fin. Maybe you just want a basic fin where we just come down and make a little basic fin down here can go ahead and add some designs in that we can color. Maybe I wanna add some lines here onto the inside of this fin. Maybe I wanna put some polka dots up here in this fin. So go ahead and have fun with it. You can add lots of different little designs in your fish. So I'm gonna draw some lines on this fin here. Maybe I'm gonna draw some lines here on this fin. Maybe continue this line here. Um, maybe you wanna add some waves to your background. Well, let me go ahead and give him an eyeball. Here's my fish's eyeball. Maybe you wanna add some scales. Um, so you can add some scales to your fish. adding some little details in. Um, maybe you wanna draw some bubbles. He's blowing some bubbles under the water. Maybe you wanna add some waves in the background. Let 
Maybe you want to draw some seaweed next to him. Maybe he's swimming next to some seaweed. And you can add any other details that you want to your fish. So I really hope that you enjoyed this drawing. Um, and I hope that you get creative and you add any kind of little things that you have at home, whether you have some crayons or some markers or some paint. Um, so get creative, um, stay positive, and I hope that you are following all the directions and you are um, doing a great job and being kind to your parents. And I hope to see y'all soon.